Good morning, wonderful people. Hello from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's about 10.30. Uh, just uh, do something different this morning because I was thinking, I read a comment yesterday in one of my videos. Um, uh, one uh, subscriber wrote that something he wrote that really caught my attention. I actually replied to him, but I thought I'd talk about a little bit. So the topic today is going to be uh, fragheads, people who love fragrances, understand fragrances, are sort of like a pro <laughs> in fragrance already. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> no, no, cold. Okay. <coughs> yeah, better. Okay. I apologize. It's very rude, by the way. But I, I, I just have no absolute no control over it. So the thing is, um, fragheads versus the rest of the world. Okay, it's like a football game or something like that. So what I mean by this topic is uh, how we view fragrances when we actually you know, went through so many fragrances. We try different things. We have collections somewhat. And we doesn't matter designer or niche wherever we are we're in certain stage right so how do normal people view fragrances when they look at fragrances what do they think what is what does fragrance mean fragrances mean what do fragrances mean to the rest of the world versus us all right so we know the story versus us right like uh, about us we know fragrances we study them we we go for notes, seasons, so we go for, we check who's the perfume, what's the house, what is the season, and uh, longevity, projection, compliments. So there are a lot of factors to think about. We do thorough research, most of us anyway. Um, I hope no one does blind buy based on certain reviews or just seeing a new packaging outside, nice bottle, and you just go and buy it, right? Most of you, I don't think they do it, but many people actually do stuff like that. I myself still do stuff like that. I see a nice bottle, I just go buy it because the bottle catches my eye. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so the thing is, let me show you the scent of the morning. First of all, I haven't applied anything. I'm not feeling all that well, but I had a good sleep. So, Aqua Digio, original. Something, uh, ref just something to just cheer me up. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. So I can smell my cologne, so yeah. Go full on. There's, you cannot uh, apply too much of this stuff. Smells absolutely good. It's, it's very uplifting. Very uplifting and beautiful fragrance. Ever so popular classic, ADG. Right. So the topic, today it's going to cover just one topic. Because if I go to so, too many topics, it just sort of becomes too long. This can also be too long, but I try not to. Okay. <clears throat> so thing is, uh, how do people buy fragrances or how do normal people or consumers rather look at fragrances okay this is an important topic for all of you to know who actually like you know ask so many questions right I hope this discussion will answer most of the people out there as consumers they have many things to buy they are let's say these people at the majority of the people in the world 85 90 95 maybe how many people actually know about fragrances right like uh, we study fragrances we, we, we collect we know the houses how many people then most of them are not aware of this so uh, how do they do uh, fragrance purchases? Some people buy body sprays, some people uh, buy just one fragrance that will do everything for them. Hugo Boss bottle, I'll show you a few bottles along the way when I will talk about this. Let's say Hugo Boss bottle, very good example. Excuse me, that's for that fragrance, it's within your budget. It's not super expensive, it's not super cheap. So the thing is people, psychologically, normal people, they have the thing of something called brand image. Most of the people in Bangladesh, I don't know about the rest of the world. Most of the people, you know, who are uh, general people, <coughs> we call mango people. <laughs> mango people means amjanata. Amjanata means normal, normal people, you know, like normal civilians. They think like, you know, brand is important. I have to carry a bottle, which shouldn't be a cheap brand. Then people will look at me funny, all right? They'll be like, oh, your cologne is cheap. So that psychological effect, you know, like the brand image is important. So many people do that. They think good brand, good value good product right and it's great so hugo boss bottle is a classic example so that is actually one of the most highest number of bottles sold right in malaysia i've seen that is a top seller always in bangladesh also i've seen one of the best sellers people love it my dad used to love it i went through four or five bottles since i went to malaysia so <clears throat> that's played safe but i didn't know before as when i was a consumer when i was not fraghead or i didn't know anything about fragrances i used to think something that smells safe and pleasant and something like a that's not gonna be like challenging or like I don't like so my nose has to like it so Hugo Boss bottle I liked it instantly so it's made to be pleasant right so some of the fragrances nowadays you see Savage top seller you have seen um, fragrances like Pakoraban 1 million being a top seller and it's still selling you know 
it's played safe it's sweet it's clubbing scent everybody knows that that's like legend on its own fragrances like blood chanel all right this kind of fragrances this is instant heat most of the people who go to chanel boutique likely to pick up this rather than the other chanel's platinum egoist egoist pour monsieur Antaeus, I don't think many people are going to touch that. And even yesterday I showed an example, I reviewed this, Mr. Burberry. Very nice fragrance, I'll talk about this in different uh, discussion. Or even for summer, people are looking at to buy Invictus Aqua. This is now discontinued and selling like hotcake. So the thing is, why do people buy these fragrances? So I was telling you the fact that when people are not fragrance, they just simply go to the shop and go like, okay, I want something that smells good, smells all right, performance all right, all right no problem. Uh, performs better is better but I don't want to spend a whole lot of money like insane amount of money because I have other things to buy I have to buy a watch shoes let's say when they go shopping I have to buy food for baby a lot of things right I have to see my car <laughs> because the car needs work too but some of us insane people like us we just buy fragrances right so we have no barriers we just can go absolutely nuts you know I have seen today someone posted I got a thousand bottles and I think I'm sick yes the sickness part is true <laughs> We all are, bro. We all are. <laughs> I mean, not all of us, those who collect. So those, these people, will they try something daring? Will they, even after watching the review, will they go on like thinking, I, I need maybe more than three colognes or five colognes in my collection? Most of the people won't. They will think, standard people will think, let me go through a bottle, let me finish it, then I'm done with it, then I will not buy this bottle again, one kind. Second kind of bottle, people, let me finish this one bottle, I maybe upgrade to next time bigger bottle than 60 ml like 100 ml 200 ml if i like the cologne so much i'll stick to this for life some people do that so the thing is you like what you like don't let people tell you like your nose sucks your fragrance is generic see if you like something you should be absolutely owning to it you're like you should own it if something is signature scent you know blue de chanel let's say you make mr berber your signature scent this is very good signature scent worthy by the way doesn't get much love i talked about this if you like this so much, this is almost all purpose, all season. If not strictly winters, no, there's no, we cannot use this in the winter, but rest of the year, this is a perfect fragrance, okay? So you like this bottle, there's nothing wrong with it. There's a good brand, everything in it to make it like very pleasant fragrance, you know? <clears throat> Sorry about that, okay. This is a good brand, Burberry. It has a nice presentation. It has nice longevity. It has a nice smell to it. Ladies love this. I... <sighs> This, this is made to love. So the thing is, if you buy this and you stick to this one bottle, is something wrong with you? Absolutely not. Why? Because this fragrance does most of your purposes. So the thing is, you are not into like sniffing different fragrances. When people tell you, how are you going to ever finish all your bottles? Those are the kind of people I'm talking about right now because they don't get it. It's not eating rice or food or finishing a burger or pizza. Even if you don't ever finish your fragrances, you can have a lot of options. You can give away your bottle. You can decant it, you can uh, absolutely uh, keep it, never use it, <clears throat> just once in a while you sniff it, none of their business, right? But yes, most people are practical, so most of us are not actually practical in many ways, like we'll have 200, 300, 400 collection, <coughs> excuse me. The thing is, we're not going to regret it, do you know why? Because we are collectors, we love to sniff different things, we love to have that wide range of choices we need to have uh, fr fruity floral summer fresh uh, sporty uh, casual formal uh, even a funeral we pick up fragrance for funerals so yes fragrance we do that but normal people they just need something safe one fragrance that does it all for most of the people so that's where these fragrances safe fragrances are a hit so when i talk about this this mr Burberry yesterday someone said uh, i said many reviewers didn't give this they trashed this fragrance okay for example that's true most of the people didn't give it very good thumbs up because they thought it's like um, nothing special all right so thing is what is not special to them may be special to the majority of the people out there which is why i think jeremy sort of what he does is yeah I, i'm not gonna say any other name just jeremy's example i'm not favoring jeremy or anything but he is a good friend but what most people like are the fragrances that sells most of the bottles. So it's a business versus your hobby. So when you think like oh, why people are selling, Savage is selling so much, I hate this shit, right? It's selling because people like it. It doesn't have to be mind-blowing, doesn't have to be groundbreaking. Just something to make it pleasant. Women like 
people like around them get compliments what else do people want that's what people want when they pay the money right so yes that's where the safe fragrances are hit perfumers are not stupid they're not morons like oh, okay blue de chanel there's nothing mind-blowing mr burberry nothing mind-blowing they made it like that they made it on purpose to make it sell so when you are doing a business then only you can understand because i'm doing a small business now i understand the business aspect of it so what sells you should make more and more and the thing is if the companies do a little bit evil thing they reformulate in the name of regulation this and that but what they actually do basically let's say one fragrance let me give you a classic example <laughs> ch man the vintage right this is vintage right this fragrance when it came out people didn't know much then jeremy hyped it this some other guys hyped it then became an instant hint now is discontinued no no so not this is reformulated now this thing is gone the bottle pretty much looks like that with the ch at the side what actually happened in this is they took half of the fragrance or a little bit more maybe and mixed alcohol or water whatever let's just say watered down that's what it means and it became still the same price but very weak compared to this version so the thing is companies sometimes do the evil thing just to cash in that's the one thing you need to know so many people are not aware of it so as a duty you know like i'm not going to call myself a reviewer because i most of the time i see it from point of consumer am i getting enough value if i like it what i like i use i buy it doesn't matter how much I'm spending on it. <clears throat> it can be cheap or expensive. Okay. But what actually people want is something good value for their money. And people look to reviews, you know, for s hoping someone to talk about their favorite fragrance. I'll give you one example. What I do is I try to find fragrances that have not been reviewed properly or no proper review whatsoever. This one never had a review. Dunhill Desire Blue. Not so far whatever I saw I didn't like. So I bought this fragrance just to review it try to test it, decant it, whatever, it made me happy. Maybe I helped 100 people out there who are looking to buy this fragrance. Maybe they'll buy it, maybe they won't. Maybe it won't fill their bill. But the thing is, not everybody's requirement is the same. So you have to understand, this, all this thing I'm saying random because of a reason why we do the reviews and why reviewers shouldn't say one fragrance is trash. Because some people, some reviewers, they already went to such niche game. To them, this kind of fragrance wouldn't excite them anymore. But as I am a consumer still, and I am user, and I am reviewing, if I find something cheap and I find something good, it excites me. I see what other people's are, people are using in the streets. In my group, I tell them, post your scent of the day. When people put Daniel Desire Blue, it gets me interested. So whatever. Give you another example. X. This is their highest, uh, highest, uh, like blend or something most concentrated fragrances blend and the best highest line actually so this is dark brain line udud okay this just came out many people wouldn't even count it this is like axe uh, but do you know this is glass this is premium and this is not that expensive 700 taka seven dollars eight dollars ten dollars this smells amazing okay so for me price is not a problem brand is not a problem i will sniff from the very basic all the way to niche the thing is if i can afford what i can afford to increase my collection i rather have at this stage i'm still a learner i'm still a beginner i still have 10 designer fragrances than one niche why because i'm not done with my designers yet and the thing is no one should ever force you to say like enter the niche game right now enter this you know done with this generic games i don't let people decide i'm a little bit arrogant in that way because i like what i like if i think i'm not done done with designers i have many designers i don't have yet i need to have migler cologne i have to have a uh, D squared uh, Rocky Mountain Wood. I have to have um, what else? Many fragrances I'm yet to buy. Okay. So thing is, in the end, conclusion is, people who are in general like life, they're living their life, casual life, just come to see reviews, just to get some idea. Yes, in that way, that brother who commented is right. That the reviewer's job is to tell you what's good and not. But sometimes, always remember, reviewers maybe are very professionals and they wouldn't discount they wouldn't like count a fragrance even if it's just safe or just nice they'll be like this is boring because they'll compare this against fragrance that has been successful before they'll be like oh this is same old same old but sometimes same old same old can be something new to someone maybe they never tried blood chanel for them this could be a winner right so my job is to tell you honestly if something is good if something is just like performance wise sucks and it just smells same it does not worth it if you're paying retail this doesn't smell exactly at all, at all like Blue de Chanel, what people say, right? So, and the last one, some people, when I was a consumer, when I started, like, didn't start my game. I wouldn't like fragrances like Shade Zood. 
I wouldn't like fragrances like One Man Show. And even I didn't like Bogart Puram when I tried this in Malaysia. Two reasons maybe. Maybe it was hot. Malaysia was hot. And it's not a perfect weather to wear cold weather fragrances like this. But this is a masterpiece. This is like a amazing, as good as pure Havan. All right. So I only developed this nose after being into this game for some years. So you have to give it time. Grow with time. You have to get more bottles in your collection if you're in love with this line and if you love fragrances. Don't buy every day. Don't, don't do that. But once you develop, your taste will just start to change. I, I know many of, most of you know this, but don't get frustrated when people say, I don't think anything special in this or uh, this is just like blah, blah. Like what you like, love what you love, use what you want. All right? Don't let others tell you uh, what is good, your fragrance is shit or not. And then don't go blind by. One last request always, don't go blind by fragrances based on some reviews. You might be disappointed, I'm telling you, because your nose is different than every single guy's nose out there. And your nose is as good as others. Maybe it's not as refined, but if you like something, no one's going to stop it, right? So you're not going to stop eating steaks because someone tells you steaks suck. Be vegetarian. Because they're vegetarian doesn't mean that you have to be vegetarian. So your taste will change from summer aquatics to a little bit heavier winter fragrances than oud. Wait for the transformation to come naturally to you. So I think in that way, you know, fragrance, let them be there. But normal people, enjoy the game. Don't skip fragrances just because people say it's not nice. Try it out there. You may like it. You may not like it. So that's all for now today. I hope this talk was uh, helpful. Just thought something would be a fun idea. I may do a review much later part of the day. And uh, everyone take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.